by CCR. Have you ever seen the rain? There's a really cool walk down in the chorus. There's lots of strumming patterns and I'm going to show you how to do it all step by step. Let's get started. Now before we jump into all the strumming patterns, let's go over the chords we're going to be using for the songs. We're starting with an A minor chord. We have a C chord. We have a G chord. And sorry to say, we have an F bar chord. Now, if you're not great with bar chords, you could always use the four fingered F major seven or the three fingered F major seven. Um, it won't matter much for this song. Okay. The walk down does not include the bar chord. So if you can't play it, it's okay. So now that we mainly know the chords we're going to be using for this song, let's talk about the intro and how we're going to get this song started with our strumming pattern. So this song has what we call a pickup that starts on the A minor. So the song doesn't actually start on the downbeat of one. Usually we start a song and we go one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. This song is actually starting on the upbeat of four. All right. What do I mean? Listen briefly. Okay. So I'm going to start with this A minor. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Okay. Notice I started on an up strum on the and of four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then the strumming pattern that's going to come after that is going to be one and, and three and, and. Okay. So that strumming pattern is one and, and three and, and. Now, once we get into this strumming pattern, it kind of becomes a round. So when I play the song, I always think of it in terms of up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Listen, I'm just gonna play the A minor for now. Listen to what I mean. So we're gonna do the pickup and then I'm getting into the strumming pattern. Just listen, see if you hear that up, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, three, four. Hear it? Up, down, up, up, down, up. So when I start getting into the song, I don't really count the beats because I find that up, down, up really, really drives the song for me. So when I play the song, I don't really count too much, but it's important to know that there is a pickup, okay? And the chords for this, we have A minor, F, C, G. All right, so if I were to play through the intro, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four. So if you hear, I'm changing the chords on the downbeat, but if you watch my hand, for some of you, the tricky part is going to be getting into that next chord fast enough. So if you notice on that last up after the four, I'm almost already starting to get into the next chord. So I have enough time to change. Like going from F to C, I don't really have to do that because I got the pivot point from going from F to C. But listen one more time and watch my hand. Ready? One. Two, three, four. So even though I'm trying to hit the chord on the downbeat, it's almost like I'm hopping the rhythm a little bit by changing the chord over the up strum after the four. So once you get through the intro, the, we have the great verse, which it's great because it's mostly a C chord. So we're gonna be playing a lot of a C chord and every once in a while you get two measures of G that pop in and then you hop back on over to the C chord. The strumming pattern is gonna be exactly the same. So once you get through the intro, you're in that rhythm of up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So we're going to start from a C chord and I'm just going to play through this verse, this first verse beginning to end so you guys can hear it. If you want to back it up and play along with me, you can change the settings cog if you need to slow me down, but first listen and then go back and try and play along with me. So we got one, two, three, four. One and, and three and, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, get that rhythm. Here we go. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm And I know And it's been coming for some time And it's over, so they say
we're coming into the chorus and we're gonna have a completely different strumming pattern now. And I'm gonna show you what I did first to transition from that verse into the chorus before I show you the chorus strumming pattern. All I did was I took our normal strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern, as we explained, is one and, and three and, and. Okay, that's the normal strumming pattern. All I did was just add an extra down in there. So it's gonna be one and, and three and four and. Okay, it gets you, kind of starts transitioning you away from that round rhythm in your head, puts you a little bit more on a straight beat. I find it's easier to get into the next strumming pattern doing that. So once again, it would be one and, and three and, and one and, and three and, and one and, and three and four and. Okay, so that's the change. One and, and three and, and one and, and three and, and one and, and three and four and. Just a very, it's, it's only one extra strum, but I find for a lot of students it helps you uh, get into that next strumming pattern, but also kind of propels you, starts projecting you into the chorus and getting excited about this change that's coming up. So what is the change that's coming up? Well, the strumming pattern we're gonna be using, we're starting on that F chord. All right, for the chorus. And again, if you need to use the four fingered F major seven, that's fine. It won't sound exactly like the song, but it'll work, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'll use a G chord for now, for those of you who aren't great at bar chords, and we're gonna do down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and, and four, and. Okay, so that's the strumming pattern we're gonna be using for the chorus. Now, could you use this strumming pattern for the entire song? Absolutely, you definitely could if you had trouble transitioning between those two strumming patterns. But if you listen to the record, I'm kind of doing it a little bit more the way they do on, on the album. So the chord progression here is gonna be an F chord, a G chord, a C chord, and an A minor. We're not gonna put the walk down in first. I'm gonna show you how to do the walk down in a little bit but I wanna show you how to do this rhythm first. So we're gonna start on the F chord and it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let's do it again, F. And there's an F, a G, Go right back into the verse. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to transition back into the verse first, but let's go over this walk down now so that you guys can throw that in. So hopefully you got a feel for that rhythm, all right? And then I'm gonna play through the whole chorus so you guys can hear it. So nothing changes with the F and the G. Okay, we're still playing F and G for full measure. The C and the A minor are gonna start changing. Essentially, we're doing a walk down, a bass walk down. Okay, so the notes we're trying to target are gonna be C note, B note, A note, and then a G note. So we're gonna try and play chords that incorporate those notes. So to get a C note, playing a C chord is very logical, right? So we have C. Now the next chord, what we're gonna do is it's gonna be a C slash B chord, okay? And how we're gonna do that? We're gonna remove our third finger and we're just gonna take our second finger, move it up one string. And it's kind of muting we're muting that D string, okay? So we're going from a C chord, removing the third finger, moving the second finger up, we got this C slash B, which allows us to get that B note, okay? Then after that, pretty simple, we're going into A minor, and then we're going into a G chord. So C slash B is the only kind of weird chord that maybe you might not know. So it's gonna sound like this. So you hear, I changed the strumming pattern again. Let's do that again. So it's basically one, two, and three, four, and down, down, up for each chord. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. down up for each chord. One more time. One, two, three, four. So 
So how's that gonna sound in the chorus if we throw that into the mix now? It's gonna sound like this. Ready? From the top on the chorus, we got one, two, three, four. See, right when I get to that C chord, we're back to down, up, up, 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 down, up. Now, something I may not have mentioned before, you guys are probably wondering, Lauren, why does your strumming pattern sound like it's muting itself? Like it's not doing. You can do that if you heard on the end of the chorus there, I was going. was muting the strings on two and four. So if that, if you guys want to do that, you can. You just go down, up. You touch the strings with the palm of this strumming hand. So you're basically deadening the strings on two and four. That's another option for you guys if you want to do that. If you guys had a lot of fun on this lesson and love CCR, then you definitely got to go check out my CCR song playlist. We go through lots of fun songs just like this, step by step, lots of cool strumming patterns. Go click on that playlist right now and I'll see you in another lesson.